Hi everyone, this is John and Andrea, Happy White Bakers. And we're doing a health check on all of our birds, which means we gotta pick them up. So we're gonna show you different breeds and talk about which ones make good egg layers and which ones are just pretty and which ones make good pets. We've got over 35 different breeds, I know, but you're not gonna see them all. We got a lot of hybrids too. And they're beautiful. So this one is a beautiful Easter egger, and a lot of people are tempted to get one of these. They lay beautiful blue eggs. They are extremely flighty, and you're not going to get a lot of eggs, maybe four a week, something like yeah. that, and they'll be kind of small. But if you want blue eggs, this is the kind. If you want a friendly chicken, this is not the kind. Are you? Yeah. This is a sapphire gem. It's a kind of a hybrid that the that the hatcheries have come up with and a decent personality good layers lays brown yep. large eggs so seem to be nothing, a, a nothing healthy breed bad. we haven't had too many problems with them yep so this is a nice of brown okay. there are other versions known as uh, cinnamon queens red stars things like that depending on which hatchery you get them from yes. great <laughs> layers six to seven a week in the beginning most um, of your brown eggs. eggs in the store come from this breed because they lay so many. Uh, second only to the white leghorn, which lays white eggs. So if you want a lot of brown eggs, that's the breed for you. The Isa Brown. They can be very friendly, very hard working, and very curious. This is a speckled Sussex and an old variety from yeah from england this was one of your original dual purpose before we had today's modern meat bird this was what people raised for eggs and meat um a hardy somewhat hardy breed we not as hardy as i wish they would be but beautiful beautiful birds decent layers brown eggs like to hide in unknown locations around our farm yeah yeah oh. just a beautiful bird a nice addition if you just want color uh, in your flock. Okay, this is a, we think it's a starlight green Easter egger, lays green eggs, uh, has this little puff on top, almost like a crested cream leg bar. We have two of these. But again, the prettier the bird. The flightier they are. And the less eggs you're gonna get. So oh. if you just want color. <laughs> She's gonna go, she got a thing. <laughs> If you just want colored eggs and pretty birds, this is a kind. If you want lots of eggs, not the kind. This is a barred rock. Part one of the Plymouth Rock family. One of your original chicken lines. Uh, beautiful, beautiful barring. Uh, decent layers. Uh, again, nice addition to the to the farm if you're looking for colorful chickens and a lot of times they're very um friendly known as a heavy breed uh, they do very well in cold climates and by the way the boys tend to be a lot lighter than the girls this is a rhode island red a lot of your ancestors had this breed the Isa Brown is half Rhode Island red. Yes. And very good layers, very large brown <laughs> eggs. Uh, a nice. Lot of our Rhode Island reds are very friendly, although this one is a little bit skittish. <laughs> this is young, but nice, uh, nice big brown eggs, nice addition to the farm, very healthy. They tend to stay healthy for a while. And we have quite a few that are great moms. Yep. Oh. A good bird. This is a white leghorn. You can always tell by the big floppy comb. I got three chickens! They, they lay all the white eggs that you see in the store. They're Prolific layers. They lay probably 300 eggs a year, 320, something like that. <laughs> very small, compact body. Not very friendly normally. They tend to be extremely flighty, but if you want a lot of eggs... This is what you want. That's it. A white leghorn, but it's white eggs. They have white earlobes, and they're, they're somewhat friendly. Our, our leghorns one, are somehow a little bit friendly, so. All of our chickens are friendly because they're spoiled. So this is one of the Asian blacks. 
So we got in the, what we call the divorce special. Identified by? The white on the underside. And we didn't know until we bought our own Asian blacks what they were. Mostly black, so. but white underside. <laughs> She's giving her a little spray. All right, she is ready to go. They seem to be a hardy breed. Decent layers. Kind of a, a kind of a rare bird. You don't find them too often. This is an Australorp. Just very black, and they have this iridescent green in their feathers. Very beautiful. They're kind of friendly. It's a mixed bag. Some are friendlier than others. But we have a lot of moms that are this variety yeah. of breed. She's about to leave, though. Very healthy and good layers. <laughs> This is a light Brahma. They are very large birds. The boys are huge. And we do have a buff Brahma. And uh, they're they're decent. Boy. Not one of my favorites, but um, they lay nice eggs. They're somewhat <laughs> friendly. No, oh. they're just big birds. Very feathers large. on their feet. If you really want a big bird, yeah, feathered feet. If you want a big bird? This is the kind to get. No. Oh. They're not as big as those videos, though. No. <laughs> this is a red sex link. You can tell by the darker color and then the red in the front. Oh, she's going to be hopping off, so hurry up. <laughs> you know, sex links are so called because they are sexed at birth, linked through their colors. So you can tell the boys will be usually barred and these will be a solid color. So if you want all girls and you want to be sure about it, get a sex link. This is an amber link. Looks a lot like a white rock, but you can see, see just a little bit of, yeah, blue coat on dad's hands. Tan marking. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens if you get blue coat too close to you. Uh, they are hardy birds, good layers. So I like them. All good. This is a silver lace Wyandotte. And there is a gold lace, but she has a little bit of tan in her. Um, very flighty birds. Uh, small, medium eggs. Medium eggs, not too many. Brown. But a colorful bird, so if you want to, again, add color to your flock, this is a kind of bird. A lot of people will love them when they come to our farm. They do get friendlier when they get older, like three or four years old. But yeah, right now, flighty. Yeah. This is a brown leghorn. So it does lay white eggs. Uh, <laughs> yep, just, just as flighty as the white lagern, <laughs> but lays, beautiful. Lays white eggs. Uh, Not all white chickens lay white eggs. Kind of looks like a well summer, but the comb. comb is different. It's a regular single row comb. Uh, it's a nice addition to the farm. We don't mind white eggs. The white eggs taste just like the other eggs when they're in the same environment. So this is JLo. She is our only silky. So she is lays white eggs. We don't know if she's laying or not. Um, and she is a very unique breed, so she gets to stick around even though we don't know what if she's laying or not. Her fur feathers are more like dog fur than they are like chicken feathers. This one is a cuckoo morans. And uh, good layer, usually darker eggs. So, All the Morans seem to have darker eggs. Now, ours is blind in the eye that is showing. Mm -hmm. So, but. I'll get, her, I'll get her good side. Get her good side. Oh, there she is. There's her good side. She has barring, sort of like a barred rock or a Dominique. She stays in the coop because she is half blind. So, so this is Nell. And just to point out that some girls do have spurs. Huge spurs. Here oh. They are. Here they are, right here and right there. So Nell has also been a mom. She is one fierce mom with spurs. We're going to have to remove her spurs. Uh, just wanted to point that out. Well, this is a Buff Orpington. It's one of the heavy breeds. Very cold hardy. Uh, decent layer. Big brown eggs. Very friendly. And they seem to get friendlier as time goes on. So if uh, if you want friendly chickens, this is a great candidate right here. Yes. Buff Orpington. All right. This is a blue-laced red Wyandotte. Uh, not very common. And you guessed it, pretty and flighty. Oh, yeah. With She's young. She's the only one of her breed here on the farm. Not laying too many eggs, and they're small. But again, if you like color... 
She's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. This is a salmon favorel. They are extremely friendly. If you want a pet chicken, this is the one to get. They are not very common. They're very talkative. Yes, they are. And they like to become moms. Yes, they do. They're good moms, too. They'll. These are so docile that you they can... They will accept any chicks. You can just take chicks and throw them down, and they'll let them up under their wing. Yeah. They talk a lot. Oh, okay. That's probably a... <laughs> two to three hundred dollar bird if it's in great shape if you buy it from a breeder <laughs> this is kelly she is a black copper morans and she lays very dark brown eggs so if you run if you want the chocolate looking eggs get the black her. copper morans she also is very very friendly and likes to land on her heads Yes. <laughs> kind of medium-sized eggs, not a whole lot of them. But yes, but nice, very, very friendly. Very friendly bird. This one is called a Calico Princess. And we have one with a beard and one without a beard. So she has beautiful, beautiful speckles. And so. seems to be a little flighty. Uh, very, one flighty, one not so flighty. Colorful for the farm. Yep, new breed. You saw the silver lace. This is the gold lace virgin. And the red red lace blue. So they're all the same uh, category. They're just different colors. Very flighty. Uh, not too many eggs. Medium size. Yep. So hope you enjoyed that. Give you some ideas. A lot of people ask us, hey, what kind of breed should I get? And so we wanted to, at least from our experience, tell you which ones are, are good. It all depends on what you want. Do you want good layers? Do you want pretty birds? Do you want colorful eggs? Do you want a pet? But that's kind of our opinion and, and other stuff that you'll find online about how many eggs they lay. Uh, but hope you enjoyed that. We enjoy the variety, at least the Happy Wife does. I do. I'd probably have just one or two breeds if it was up to me, but Happy Wife likes lots of them. And visitors love to see that too. Yes. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon on Homestead. Bye. Bye.